come here for lunch. Hey guys, a very good morning. Welcome to my channel. This is Jeanette from China. Uh, last time I took you on a day tour in Hong Kong along the red subway line. And today I'm going to introduce you a scenic traveling route that is not listed in the traveling brochure. So if you want to experience Hong Kong like a local, then please stick around and hit that subscribe button. Before we start, let me have a brief introduction about myself. I'm Jeanette, a native Chinese. Um, currently, I'm a part-time YouTuber, still trying to figure out how YouTube works. And I'm a full-time entrepreneur working for my company called Coast Development. We provide a one-stop sourcing services for overseas e-commerce business. And our service include product sourcing, translation, fulfillment, logistics, and e-commerce photography. So if you're considering to launch your own e-commerce business and want to import product from China and need business assistance along the way, then welcome to visit our website below or contact us directly. And most importantly, you will be served by a dedicated business manager, not AI or human. This is the beautiful Victoria Harbor. And now it's around 9 a.m. in the morning. And Hong Kong as a financial hub is famous for its busy and fast paced lifestyle. But actually, for me, I've been living here for over 10 years. I still can't get enough of this place. Because every time when you go to a different place, you can always find a unique side of Hong Kong. And today, I'm going to show you the slow and relaxed vibe of Hong Kong. interesting combination. On this side of the road is the busy, you know, city life. And on this side of the road, people are walking along the seaside to have their morning exercise. Since today, we're going to explore the slow and relaxed vibes of Hong Kong. So I will not take the MTR or hop on a taxi. And instead, we're going to go to Tim Sha Chui to take the famous ferry from Kowloon side and cross the harbor to the Hong Kong side to have our breakfast in a very local place. Uh, I don't know whether I'm gonna make it to have breakfast. Uh, maybe we're gonna have brunch instead. Okay, now we have arrived at the uh, Star Ferry and we're gonna take the ferry to Central. Let's go. Busy vibes and the walking speed become faster automatically. Now I'm waiting for the tram. I think. Uh, I think. I'm gonna take the tram from here to here. I guess. Let's see. I'm 
on the right time for breakfast, but obviously I come here for lunch. <laughs> Today we will check out this awesome breakfast spot called the Cooked Food Center in the Shenhuang Municipal Service Building. In almost every district of Hong Kong, you can find these municipal service buildings where you can get fresh veggies and meat, and best of all, get a taste of the signature local dishes without breaking the bank. Let's have a walk around and then decide which restaurant um, to try. They have Thai food. Uh, I'm looking for some local Cantonese food. Finally, I decided to have breakfast set for lunch. I created a little bit of confusion just now. The breakfast here only lasts till uh, 11 a.m., but I arrived here already. It's already like 12 for lunch. But the boss is very good. They say whatever you want, you can still order and they're gonna make it for you. Very lively My food comes, and here it is. So I got a, uh, a piece of bread, some sausages, two eggs, and Basically, I had two portions of food. One is the egg with the sausages, and the other portion is the noodle. <laughs> uh, but okay, bear me for that because I'm gonna take you guys to have a little bit of a walk um, to show you the slow and um, relaxed vibes of Hong Kong. And we're gonna take the MTR. So now I'm looking for the MTR. Look at those birds. These birds here in Hong Kong are also very, you know, on a relaxed mood. Under the sunshine, enjoy their life. So happy. Um, exit A2 of Hong Kong University we're gonna arrive at this um, back lane of this university and there's a uh, like uphill so after coming uphill from there you're gonna reach this point and then when we go up you just turn right surrounding you are all trees see here morning trail they only categorize this as morning trail and sometimes in the morning you can also find people running uphill or running downhill with a dog but for me no running walking is good enough i think one of the attractions of hong kong is that you can work very hard in the city and if you want to relax you can just take the mtr or drive you know within half an hour you can go to the big nature and enjoy the sunshine and fresh air you know that's that's really what I love look at those flowers so beautiful this is one of my favorite uh, hiking trails here in Hong Kong. It's um, pretty easy, uh, not difficult one. And from Hong Kong University to go to the peak, based on my speed, I don't know what is my speed, it will usually take around like 40 minutes. Pretty easy one. And most of the road is pretty flat. There's a little bit uphill, but not, not too much of like staircases 
or challenges. Just have your backpack, a bottle of water, and wear a comfortable shoes. That's it. <laughs> Ta-da! We come to the first very nice scenic spot. Let me show you. Oh, another hint here. Because this is a quite popular hiking trail among the locals. So if you want to come here and enjoy the view and enjoy this kind of like a peaceful environment, I would suggest that you come here um, from Monday to Friday. It's the best because during the weekend, a lot of, um, you know, local people are gonna bring the family and kids to come here. And sometimes the international school here even have a camping or have a barbecue in this area. Now we have arrived at, I think, some garden area where they have a place for you to get water and you can take some rest over there. They have like chairs, you know, stuff for you to take rest and enjoy the sunshine. Pretty nice. Very chill. the bus station to go downstairs a lot of tourists today it's Friday ah it's here do you see that number 15 it's a central kind of empty not many people around today because it's Friday it's still working the bus journey from the peak to central takes around 40 minutes during this time you can appreciate the scenery along the road enjoying the shift from natural surroundings to the bustling city environment. Moving on, our next destination is the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, or Hong Kong MA. As an international financial center, Hong Kong has faced numerous financial challenges in history. The Hong Kong MA plays a crucial role in safeguarding the stable growth of the economy. To visit the exhibition hall on the 55th floor on 2 IFC in Central, you can register at the counter with a passport or ID for a visitor pass. So after registration, you're going to have this um, the visitor pass. So you can go to the 55 floor to have a look. Please change lift cards on this level. The view is absolutely breathtaking. And as for the exhibitions in the hall, I'll let you discover and explore them on your own. Let's finish this journey with a cup of hot coffee. Okay guys, that's all for today. If you like my video, welcome to subscribe to my channel. If you need any e-commerce related service from China, welcome to visit our website below or contact me by WhatsApp. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye! Harbor, beautiful harbor.